Hello everyone. Today, I am not alone. As you can see, I have two professors with me today. Professor Ani and Professor Hazim. Both of them are here today in order to demonstrate us an experiment about the solubility of group 2 sulfate. Hello, Professor. Hello. Well, Professor, why do we need to do an experiment on the solubility of group 2 sulfate? Will it be different solubility in group 2 sulfate? Of course, it is different. To be more specific, the group 2 sulfate, the solubility is decreased down the group. I guess Professor Hazim will explain more about group 2. So, to make things clear, let me first show the elements that are located in the group 2. In group 2, there are 6 elements that are listed in group 2. So, they are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. Group 2, they are also known as alkaline earth metal. But why they are called as alkaline earth metal? First, when they are react with water, it will form as alkaline solution. These are the atomic radius for each of the elements. As going down the group or going from left to right, it shows that the atomic radius increase. Oh, I see. I just can't wait to see the experiment. Shall we start, Professor? Alright, we will shall start now. First and foremost, the objective of this experiment is to tag the solubility of the group 2 sulfate pattern. So, the second objective, we will relate the solubility of the group 2 sulfate with the atomic size of the cation. The hypothesis, we can say that the solubility of the group to sulfate is decreases down the group. Okay, we will shall start the experiment now. Here I have magnesium sulfate, calcium sulfate, and strontium sulfate. Now, I put a magnesium sulfate into a 10 ml distilled water. And then, I close it with a paraffin film. Now, I use the calcium sulfate and add it with 10 ml distilled water. And then, I close it with a paraffin film. And lastly, I do it with a strontium sulfate and add it into the 10 ml distilled water. And close it with a paraffin film, just like calcium sulfate, just now. And then we shake it firmly. And then we wait for 5 minutes. 5 minutes has passed. And now we see magnesium sulfate has completely dissolved in the water. And then the calcium sulfate, it is partially dissolved in the water. But for strontium sulfate, you can see they are not even dissolved in water. Next experiment, we will study the pattern of the solubility of group 2 sulfate down the group. Here I have strontium chloride, calcium chloride, and magnesium chloride, and I will add them with sulfuric acid. First is strontium chloride, I add 10 drops of sulfuric acid. Next, calcium chloride, I add 10 drops of sulfuric acid also. And lastly, magnesium chloride, I add 10 drops of sulfuric acid. For strontium chloride, it forms white precipitate, which means it is insoluble in water. For calcium chloride, a little bit white precipitate, which means it is partially soluble in water. Lastly, for magnesium chloride, we'll see no reaction at all, which means it is soluble in water. This experiment really blow my mind. Wow, can you please explain the result of the experiment, Professor? Sure. Well, for the first experiment that has been demonstrated by Professor Ani, we can see that the lower the group 2 sulfate in the predictable R, the less solubility it gets. This can be explained by the concept of lattice energy. The magnitude of the lattice energy remains almost constant as the salt of group 2 sulfate increases in the size of the cation from beryllium to barium. However, the hydration energy decreases from beryllium ion to barium ion due to the increase in the size of the get ion down the group. Hence, the solubilities of group 2 sulfate decrease due to the decreasing in the hydration.
concentration energies from beryllium ion to beryllium ion. The high solubility of beryllium sulfate and magnesium sulfate is due to high hydration energy due to the smaller size of beryllium ion and magnesium ion. Yeah, it is absolutely true. So in conclusion, going down the group, the solubility of group 2 sulfate is decreases. So the hypothesis is accepted. Such a great explanation and demonstration from you two, Professor. I am so impressed with today's demonstration. It is nice to have you two here with me today, Professor. Well, everyone, the show is done for today. Till we meet again at the next show on the same time, same channel. Meet you again. <laughs>